Hi, I'm Veronica Mosek with the 5MinuteBookkeeping.com blog where we show you how to minimize bookkeeping and maximize profits. In a previous video, I talked about um, the fact that you can work on your own bookkeeping in just five minutes a day by working with the bank feeds. And those are the transactions that download from your bank and credit card account directly into QuickBooks Online. Now, one of the things that I think is very important for you to understand is that it's not just enough to know how to work with QuickBooks Online, but also to understand what um, specific uh, steps and workflows you should follow when you work on QuickBooks Online. So for example, I put together for you a free cheat sheet so you can work on your bank feeds in just five minutes a day. And I show you the three-step method that I, I have developed so that you can know how to work with transactions in batches. By batching similar transactions, you'll be a whole lot more successful at working with your bank feeds. I also show you the general types of transactions that you should be adding or matching in QuickBooks Online because a lot of untrained users are not really sure whether they should be adding or matching. So make sure to get the free cheat sheet for working with your QuickBooks Online bank feeds in five minutes a day. I have the link below in the description box. I'm Veronica Wasek with the 5 minutebookkeepingcom blog. Make sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video, leave a comment, and visit my blog at 5minutebookkeeping.com.